In this video I'm going to demonstrate some simple hardware that I've put together uh, to keep a vehicle uh, powered on on the ground uh, for a few hours without draining its, its main battery. Okay, so for this test I have this portable battery that's connected to this variable power supply and this has been set to, uh, so it's powered down at the moment, but it's been set to 16.6 volts. Then um, from the front here, the 16.6 volts comes out uh, to this, to this uh, DC port here. Uh, then I have a, the quadcopter, which has a 4S battery, so that's also about 16.6 volts when fully charged. And um, of course it's got the regular battery, uh, but there's been a battery splitter connected as well. So this connects the battery, and then the, the other side of the splitter comes down to this little DC, the other uh, female end of the, the DC port. So, um, again it's not powered on right now, but plug this in then this uh, variable power supply will be providing the power and it easily disconnects. So this means we can just arm the vehicle and take off and it should just disconnect. All right, this is the beginning of the test. Uh, that chime means that it's exactly noon. Uh, we've got it all hitched up already. Uh, then if we look over on the portable battery, we see that it's at uh, 99% and it's drawing anywhere from uh, eight to maybe 15 watts or so. We look over at the variable power supply, it's providing 16.71 uh, volts. All right, so we will leave this alone for a couple hours, come back and make sure that uh, everything's still okay. So interestingly, after about 10 minutes or so, the uh, ESC started beeping, and I guess they have some kind of built-in timeout if they don't see any change in the PWM signal. Now, it seems like we can resolve this by going to the configuration page and changing the MOT safe disarm parameter. So normally it's zero, which means that while the vehicle is disarmed, it's providing a PWM value. But if we change the one, then the signal stops providing PWM and the ESC stopped beeping. A little over two hours has passed. Everything seems to be fine. The vehicle is just sitting there as it was. Uh, the portable battery is showing about 90% state of charge and the uh, variable voltage power supply is still showing 16.73. So back on the ground station, everything looks fine. We still got the voltage stuck uh, solidly at uh, 16.57 volts and um, it's using 0.2 amps. The, uh, it reports that it's down to 95%, but this is actually uh, not correct. Uh, all that power has come from the external battery, which is fine. So we're gonna test that it can take off properly and disconnect from the external battery. Uh, I put in a simple mission, which is a takeoff to one meter then it's going to just wait there for 10 seconds and then it's going to land. So we'll get things started. We'll switch it into auto mode. I've set auto options to three so I can arm in auto. So then we arm. Great, that all worked. Okay, one thing to be careful about is how the battery failsafe is set up. So I have my battery monitor set up to read both the voltage and the current. Here's the voltage, here's the current here. And uh, we can see that the battery remaining percentage is falling slowly. Uh, this is no problem on this vehicle though because I've set it up so that the VAT FS parameters are set just to trigger on voltage. So VAT low volt set to 14. The bat low ma is set to zero. So this means 
The battery failsafe is only going to trigger based on voltage. It is not going to trigger based on uh, how much current is consumed 